What's up guys, this is Travis with my Bream back. Uh, welcome to your 12th tutorial and we're going to start on our first little application here. Um, and basically it's all going to be working with a uh, XML file to get our layout looking right and basically give you guys a more in-depth understanding of, of uh, XML programming which isn't uh, too challenging but we're going to be moving kind of quickly here and this is probably going to take two tutorials just to set up the layout so we're just going to jump into it so open up your tutorial one XML and what we're going to do is add an edit text and then we're going to add a couple of text views and uh, they aren't exactly lined up the way we want so we're going to go into uh, tutorial one XML and under the linear layout here we're going to add a uh, orientation because it doesn't have one set up. So we're just going to hit Android orientation equal to um, vertical. And then now they should be uh, in a vertical orientation. There we go. Uh, so we're going to add another text view. Um, we're going to add a radio button. We'll add more of these later, um, but uh, just to get it set up here. Um, and what else we want? We want another text view and we want a button. Alright, so basically we're going to want these two texts to be side by side and centered, or basically take up, uh, well we'll get to that in a second, it's kind of hard to explain, but we want this to be, take up the whole width and this take up the whole width. So we're going to do that real quick. Um, we also want this text view to be centered. So again, you can use that shortcut control Shift F or an app or on a, a Windows computer you can or actually a yeah on an Apple computer you command Shift F and uh, and then it formats it for you. Um, now what we want is like I said the edit text to be um, fill up the whole full width. So we go into the layout width here and just type in fill fill parent sorry. And uh, we're just going to do that as well for the button down at the bottom for the width. And uh, for this text, we want it to um, basically, uh, let's see here, text view. We're going to say width, we want it to fill parent as well. And then we're going to just say Android gravity equals, whoops, what did I just hit? Gravity equals uh, center. And let's check that out real quick before we get too far. That's looking nice. Um, basically what we did with that text view is it was wrapping the content. So when we use the gravity function center, um, the text view would only be as or the basically the area it had to work with that it centered around was just wrapping this text so it wouldn't move so you wanted to say the width was filling the width um, basically filling the parent of the width that was available and then we set the gravity to center uh, so you want to do that the next thing we want to do is set these two texts to be horizontal next to each other so we're gonna do that real quick and an easy way to do that is uh, we're just gonna kind of seclude those two text views um, so there we go we got two text views and what we want to do is have them side by side so we're just gonna copy uh, the whole linear layout that we have up here and then underneath we're gonna again do the greater than sign forward slash forward slash and it'll finish it for us so um, it's closing off our linear layout and now we just need to change this linear layout to be horizontal there we go um, and I'm just going to format it real quick so you guys can see the two text views are within that new linear layout that we set up. And there we go. Um, where is all that other stuff? Well, it looks like that new linear layout we had set up was filling the parent uh, for the height. So we're going to change that real quick. Um, Android height is match parent, which is basically the same as fill parent. So we're going to change that to just be wrap content and uh, check it out make sure it's it looks alright yeah that's pretty good um, and now what we want to do is kinda center these text and we're gonna learn about something called weight so 
what we want to do is first we need to set up what the weight is. Um, well, let me let me explain it like this. First, we're going to say fill parent for both of the text. Oops. And uh, what that is going to do is basically give them both access to filling whatever they can. And obviously, that first text fills the whole parent that's available. And you know, we got some space down here that will go away here in a second. But uh, yeah, that other that second text is pushed off the screen because the first text is taking the whole width. But what we can do now is go into this layout that we set up and type in Android um, weight sum, and we're gonna say set this equal to 100. So in quotations, type 100, and what this is gonna say is basically um, it's gonna see how much weight or how much uh, space this linear layout is going to take up and then it's going to give uh, that a number which is a hundred and then anything within that linear layout we can assign a weight and it's going to take up that percentage of what is available so obviously this is going to wrap the um, for the height it's just going to wrap the context so um, we don't really have to worry about the height factor we just need to worry about the the width factor so now when we go into our first text, we're going to say um, Android, and we're going to say layout weight. Um, as you can see here, it's layout underscore weight. We're going to set that equal to 50%. So we're going to say 50. I mean, that's going to take 50 um, of this 100, so that's 50%. If we set this weight sum to be like 2 and we set this to be one that's still taking fifty percent so um, we're just gonna change it up like that otherwise you can leave it at fifty and then we just need to establish a weight for the second text view as well so we're gonna say android um, layout weight uh, equals now one um, again this is one plus one is two so they're both taking up 100% of of what's available when they're added together. So let's check out what that looks like. Yeah, it looks like that's taking 50% and that's taking 50%. Now we just want to add these uh, text views to be centered. So what we need to do is just say uh, again Android uh, gravity equals uh, center and um, I'm going to copy this and just paste it in the second text view as well. And uh, and then just format everything. Uh, so you guys might be able to get a screenshot there uh, before we continue on to our next tutorial, uh, which we'll, we'll finish this up. But basically, um, you guys probably could have done this. Um, the only new thing was that width, uh, or that, I'm sorry, that weight and how that worked. So. Uh, we'll finish up the layout of this tutorial or this uh, little little layout here in the next tutorial, and I'll see you guys then. Uh, thanks again for watching, subscribing. I know this might be a little bit confusing, but uh, you'll pick up on it. Um, again, uh, I'll put the source code at mybringbat.com under tutorials in the Android's the Basic series lesson 12. Check that out, and you'll find the tutorial or the source code for this. So. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a great day or night.